talking about a traffic light system. Uh, we are, yeah. yes, this is coming in place uh, in all the major supermarkets as of today. Uh, it's a traffic light system, so red, amber and green. Simple enough. Uh, red means it's a bad food, amber means it's okay, green means it's good. You can see it's just illustrated here that the fat in this product is good, as are the sugars. The salt, not okay. so much. Well, you get the idea, uh, the thinking behind it from the nutritionist, Nicole. Uh, what do you think? The whole reason for this, we've got to remember what the aim is. The aim is we're trying to give informed choices with the aim of improving health. So for that to happen, the information needs to be really quick for the consumers to see. So hence front of pack and ideally colour coded. And that's what they've been pushing for for a long, long time. Looks like we're finally there. But I wanted to show you what we've got at the moment yes. and why, yeah. why this has come about. So basically at the front here, we've got um, some different examples of different labels. We've got one here which has got all the information on. Yeah. But it's all numbers, so, so, so it's very so it's hard to work out. Those little yellow dots at the bottom there, if you can just see them, the, the bottom left of your screen there, lovely. Yes. So what is that telling me? All the information is there, but you're going to need to understand what all the numbers mean. So it's not something you're going to be able to see at a glance. The next one we've got, um, alongside this one, we've got a sandwich pack. And on the sandwich pack, we've got some colours. We've got the colours next to the different nutritional labelling, but the colours don't stand for anything. So if you're looking at that and you see colours, it looks pretty, but it won't tell you very much. So what is that telling me the lettuce is good and the tomato is bad and the chicken's all right or whatever? Is that, it is doesn't that... tell you very much at all. Again, you've got the numbers there, the figures are there, but the no, colours no, won't no. tell yeah, you. Yeah, I just want, I want my, my red yellow or green on that. So that's, what I want. that's why, you know, the previous ones, some of the companies already had started to put a traffic light scheme in. And there was uh, some companies had the wheel, which has red, orange, green, nice and clear. But this one is a hybrid. The one that we've got coming in covers everything. So it's going to be uniform. Absolutely. So there's not going to be any more of these systems. It's going to be a lot but simpler. Except, it's voluntary. Except it's going to be uniform, but it's not going to be uniformly available. That's the thing, isn't it? It's a voluntary system at the moment. Why is it a voluntary system? First of all, we've got about 60% at the moment of the food manufacturers taking it on board. That's pretty good. It's a big figure. The rest are going to wait and see. Are they happy with it? Does it work? And the other 40% those that would get red labels, so unhealthy Not necessarily. Foods. Not necessarily. They could just be waiting to see. You know, there's been so much talk over so much time. No. I mean, we've got manufacturers that are going to have plenty of red labels. They're still taking it on board. See, Sarah Jane and I were talking about this. Um, when you go to the supermarket, she thinks... Going to the supermarket nowadays is like going to the library. It is, there's so there's much there's reading so much involved. Reading you see do. so many people walking along, <laughs> staring at the backs of packets. I'm not one of them, it's I have to say. dangerous if you're operating a trolley. Um, no, I'm one of these, I'm influenced by smells. You know, if I, <laughs> if I smell bread cooking or something, I'm, I'll have that, that'll be there. Uh, Greg Cranfield, uh, Greg says, What's wrong with people? It's not rocket science. An apple is good, a donut is bad, uh, lean meat is good, pork pie bad. Well, of course, once it comes to processed food, food that somebody else has put together, it's very hard to know what's in it. Yes. And we don't want to spend hours reading the back no, with and, all the tiny and, print. And I think where his argument is shot down is when you look at that sandwich there again yes. and you say, it seems to be... Can you actually tell me, is that sandwich healthy for me? It's part of... Because it's chicken salad, yes. so immediately so I think, yes, you think that's chicken lean sounds all right. salad good. I won't know unless I start reading all the small print. Right. And then start to compare it. But with a colour coding oh. system, I'll be able to look at it at a glance. So even somebody like me will have to go through the back and read through. So the colour scheme will mean that I can glance at it. Then somebody like me is, what I do is, I look, I'll get the healthiest sandwich and wash it down with the most unhealthy drink. <laughs> that's, that's probably where I'm going wrong uh, on that. But it's, but it's interesting, Nicole, as to who has signed up on this. We talked about uh, the main supermarkets, but also the manufacturers. You've got Mars in there, you've got Nestle in there, you've got McCain's yes. in there, Pepsi are in there as well, and Premier Foods, whatever they are responsible for, which is obviously um, quite, quite a lot. Yes. Is this driven by the consumer or driven by the supermarkets? It's been driven by a, a real push from everybody. So the, the manufacturers want to do what the consumers want to make it easier. Consumers have been pushing for clearer labels. There's been a lot of market research over the years. This has been going for a long time. I just so it's bringing it all work, together. Though, shaming people into having a different supermarket shop because if you take your basket up to the supermarket, yes. it's all red labels. And the police are slightly embarrassed. Or? Yeah. This is the key question: is will it actually do what we need it to do? Are the people that that we want to look at it going to be looking at it? Is it going to be? Is it going to to achieve what we want, which is improving health? And it comes into operation today. It's all going to be launched today uh, by the Public Health Minister. And um, 
the sort of uh, uh, consumer it's aimed at is people like Mrs. Beltrao here, a no nonsense um, shopper. Will this have any effect? <laughs> any effect on you? I mean, no. why? Why? It's, it's just it's too small. I'm half blind. I'll never be able to read it. And I just want to know how many calories are in most things. And you can look at it and go, oh, fat chicken, lean chicken. I love the lean chicken. It's just it's obvious. I mean, what is that anyway? Is that chicken or fish? I don't know.